Hey, welcome back. This is Teresa from Teswick Emporium. Today I've got a slightly different video for you guys, hence the reason why you're in my kitchen. Some time ago I made a video on how I adjust a open wefted cap construction on a Beltres wig. This time I'm going to be making alterations to a closed wefted cap construction. This is read by Emore and it feels quite baggy at the back because my head is a little bit flat at the back. So this method also works for a fully hand tied wig. So if that's something you want to um, check out for yourself and attempt. It is a very easy process. I'm going to show you all of the equipment you need and step-by-step -step approach. So if you are interested guys, keep on watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so step number one, I'm going to put my wig on over wig grip making sure the wig is nice and straight and tie all of the loose hair in a ponytail. I will also make sure any loose strands that would get in my face would be clipped, clipped back with a clip. Next I will gently take the wig off and turn the cap inside out while still making sure the hair is tied back. Okay, so for this project we will need two pieces of different cotton thread, needle, pair of scissors, white tooth comb and you also need a mirror. I have already double threaded my needle and I'm gonna tie the ends in a knot. It's quite a long piece, it's about 20 inches, roughly the double length of the um, cap. Right, so what we are going to be doing is running this piece of cotton thread right down from the top to the bottom through the closed wefts. We are going to start by attaching the top of the thread to the area where the monofilament um, meets the cap construction. You will notice most hand-tied caps will have a very similar construction. So apart from being hand-tied, um, closed wefted caps are very similar to how fully hand tied wigs are um, created. So you can apply exactly the same technique on a fully hand tied cap. I find this method slightly less invasive um, compared to just sewing some of the wefts closer together. This allows you to quickly remove the alteration if you're trying to maybe sew the cap, sew the wig, or if you are perhaps um, growing your hair out um, and you're beginning to find um, the cap is too tight for you. So it's really nice and easy to remove in the future. So as you can see, it's almost parallel to the side of the cap on a tiny angle towards the back of the, towards the middle of the back of the wig. Once you reach to the end, do not tie it back, just leave it loose and cut right at the needle eye. And that will leave you a nice long piece to work with. Next I'm moving on to the white piece of cotton thread. This one doesn't have to be as long as our brown one. We are still going to double thread it, still going to tie a knot at the end. 
had to undo the velcro adjusters just for an easy access because we are going to be sewing it at the nape of the cap now right next to where the other piece of thread um, comes out make sure it's nicely sewn in it's not going to come loose And again, we're going to leave all that length and cut it right at the end. So they, both of those pieces should be roughly the same length. Next, we are going to repeat the process nearer the um, back end of the cap, right next to that seam. So again, we're going to start with a knot at the top of the Velcro area. Make sure it's nice and secure and gently pass the needle through the wefts, leaving it all the way undone and snip it at the end. Follow with the white piece. and sew it again just under in the nape I think you get the gist guys don't you so we're going to repeat this two more times So as you can see guys, it's really nice and simple, it doesn't require a expert level of sewing skills, nice and easy. Okay, so we've got all of our four sections done now, you can see them all dangle happily. Now I can flip the cap back out, I will have to separate the pairs of threads so I know exactly where those sections are coming from so I'm going to place my thumbs on the outside pieces so when I put the wig back on I know which section goes with which this is what you will need your mirror for now we need to make sure that the wig is on straight we can put all of the loose ends back up again so we're not getting it mixed up with the actual threads and more importantly the mirror will help you to find uh, the pieces of cotton and also to distinguish the difference between the brown pieces and the white pieces because it is the brown pieces that you will be sli um, tugging slightly to make the cap smaller so this is a very gentle tug you do not want to be pulling too hard very gently pull it down and you will feel the cap on your head becoming tighter so I'm holding the white one down whilst slightly and very gently pulling on the brown one you want to be very gentle you do not need to do this all in the same in one go you can come back through different sections when you feel like they need to be adjusted more so I'm not tying any knots just yet I'm just going around and pulling them until I can feel that there is no need to adjust them anymore when I'm happy with the um, adjustments I'm now ready to put one single knot in each one of those sections. I'm not 
permanently putting a knot. This is only to make sure that when I would take the wig off, um, you would have a rough memory of how much the cap needs to be adjusted. I can always go back to that if need to. So this is a very light knot. I had to undo the um, velcro adjusters there because they were getting in the way. It's always a little bit more tricky tying it up, especially when the um, hair is long and sometimes can get in the way. Okay, so we can now gently take the wig off. What I'm going to do now is put a bow tie on each pair of the threads so when I put the wig back on to try it can be held um, together more firmly and won't come undone. As you can see the biggest area where needed adjusting is right at the back around the nape. Not so much the sides, but it's mainly this area here where my head is much more flatter. So I've gathered most of the wef those wefts at the um, nape and at the back of the wig. We are ready now to take the ponytail off and give the wig um, a little brush to make sure the hair is nice and loose again. Okay, so we do not need to hold those pieces back anymore. We're just going to test the fit and make sure that the um, cap has been pulled in enough. During this process, I've decided I will need to add another um, gather right in the middle, right at the, through the back. I decided not to film these guys because you already know what I'm doing there anyway. I'm brushing the wig again and again checking what it fits like back on my head. So now when I'm happy with that I can finally take the wig back off and then tie those knots permanently. So we are going to undo all the pull adjusters once again and very slowly and gently tie from just a easy bow tie. We're going to now permanently tie both ends individually together. Again, if you do have the need, you can add more of those um, lines if you wish, if you feel like it's still not lying flat against your head. So for me, I think this is enough now. I'm going to give it a final brush, put the wig back on my head and test the fit again. Hopefully, this will now be done. So instead of big bulky section at the back, it feels nice and evenly spread at the back of my head. As you can see guys, this was really easy to do. I hope um, this video was helpful to you. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I would appreciate um, if you like this video, if you um, if you enjoyed if you enjoyed it, many thanks, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.